<laughs> it's vision time, baby. It's vision time. My goodness, that's probably how they would set up a shot, right? Is this close enough? Oh, this is probably not the right shirt to be wearing given the circumstances. Uh, I'm out of clean clothes anyway, who cares? finally be able to say that we have a team in Fortnite. Now there's been a lot of people talking about how there's not enough talent out there out there that you know TSM face have all taken up uh, the majority of the talent and then there's not you know but 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 wait 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 a minute you haven't seen my boys well you have uh, but X Call of Duty S N D kids they're not kids but that's what they call them um, and as such I'm super excited about that because you know uh, having a competitive mindset and having a competitive history will help you become a competitor in whatever uh, genre that, that you step into. Um, you know, originally what I when when we were you know thinking about who it who it was that we were gonna pick up, I was I was super excited to see if Karma would be like interested in in, in being a part of it because he's nasty. But this dude's having so much time playing like all this all these other games that there's really nothing that that uh, that I can do to. I didn't even want to mess with that. You know, he's he's been that good at, uh, at just hanging out and, and and playing as many video games as he, as he can, as many different video games that he has. So, you know, for the most part, uh, above anything else, I'm just very very thankful that we were able to find the group of guys that we did to to represent Optic uh, in that in that battle royale called Fortnite. Best game ever. Gonna get even more bloody. I wouldn't be surprised if we see probably half the amount of players drop off in this next circle. But, and this is it. There's like there's teams fighting teams, mm -hmm. and Bahawaka. You can see Optic and Dignus are basically on top of each other, scrumming one another. Oh, Meanwhile, down right below, oh, he's got a nade. So many people. He's got the nade. He's trying to sneak up on this. He knows exactly where Dig is. He's been allowed for so long. Cooking oh, it. Going to it oh. It's gonna land right back behind Adam. Oh, is it gonna get off? No. Oh, it's gonna get the, oh, knock, it's gonna get the knock with his. Meanwhile, look at the rest of the team. They push down the hill on him. So Dignus has to swing around, and the rest of Optic are sweeping in. They're gonna try and come around the corner. Uncivil unloads on Valiant, takes him down, Hedra comes around the side, gets him back down, but Gustav is there to back him up, he gets the backside of Bahawaka, Gustav finally goes down, Hippok on the side, forces Wookie Bookie inside, he's the last man standing for Dignitas as Optic. So uh, after the last couple of events, um, our land appearances were kind of strong, um, consistent across kind of every event we've been to, um, but I guess for some of the people on the team that just wasn't enough. Um, and we kind of started looking at that through the VOD review process and kind of all the time we spent together as a team practicing. Um, I think kind of slowly over time there was there was a couple of issues that, that came up that just, uh, I guess, were very difficult to address um, and then in, in turn kind of very difficult to fix as well. 
Um, so it, it wasn't a tough decision, but um, three of us on the team decided that uh, we wanted to kind of take the team in a different direction, kind of strategically and, and the way we see the game to be played. Um, and in turn, obviously, that, that meant kind of releasing Tanner from the roster, uh, which wasn't an easy thing to do. Um, and I mean, personally, I feel we, we kind of allowed enough time for things to change, but they, they just didn't. And there's, there's nothing worse than kind of having this opportunity and doing what you love and then not enjoying it, so. My name is Kian Valley Alonso. Um, I got into PUBG probably like a year and a half ago, uh, pretty much when it first came out, it came from Overwatch. Um, I competed in a team called Temple Storm. We competed in like a, a bunch of leagues. We were in the top leagues. Um, we competed against these guys all the time. We got like second in the first major competitive tournament. And now the opportunity presented itself for me to join Optic. And I've been a fan of this organization for a long time. So this is pretty wild. Um, and now I'm excited. This roster is amazing. We just played our first slam at, Dream, at Lan our land at DreamHack. We got third with like going straight through the BYOC qualifiers. So. Um, of course, we we're aiming for first, but we're improving really fast. That was only with two weeks practice, so everything was looking pretty good. After releasing Tana, there was there was a lot of people that came forward. Um, a lot of teams, you know, at the minute are going through roster changes in the PUBG community. Um, I guess kind of as a knee-jerk reaction after, after their first event, or you know, teams that haven't been together very long and see a better opportunity elsewhere. Um, between the three of us, myself, Baha and Hetor, we kind of put together a list of people we'd be interested in looking into um, and at that time we didn't really, we didn't really have a, a set person we wanted to go with, um, which was kind of difficult to release a player and then not have somebody that you want to plug straight into the roster to, you know, even as a quick fix and things go back to normal, um, was quite difficult to deal with. Um, it was maybe a, a week or so after that um, Valiate reached out to uh, a couple of us on, on Discord and on Twitter. Um, and that was the, kind of the first point we started really talking about it. Um, I, th I think things moved really, really quickly. Actually, after that point, it was, you know, we played together for a couple of days and then um, the three of us were kind of sat there after, I think it was after a set of scrims and we just said, let's just get this guy out here. Like with, with the addition of Valiate, like we're able to take a lot like more aggressive uh, play styles. So, um, I, I mean, I get, in some sense, it's going to change up the way that we're, I guess, approaching every game. Um, we're going to be scouting more, looking for, like, to take, basically pick off players that we think might be alone, or there's only two of them, whereas, like, before, we're maybe, uh, it's, it's more of a risk, I guess, with our own lineup. So, um, we're definitely able to, you know, just kind of brute force our way through some situations that we wouldn't have uh, beforehand. But uh, besides that, I mean, like, practice has been just non-stop scrims every chance we get. Um, VOD review when we see appropriate. Um, so next for us would be uh, PGI Burbank land qualifiers. I believe that's like the 22nd of June to 24th. Um, top three of that go to Berlin. We compete against like the Asian teams, the Australian teams, Middle Eastern, North African, pretty much it's just like a melting pot of all the teams around the world. Uh, and you compete for $2 million total prize pool split between like third person and first person. So Burbank coming up in like a week and a half, two weeks, probably like, I would say like two weeks, uh, is the big thing. It's June 22nd, I believe, the 24th, and if we qualify top three, we go to Germany. So, and we get to support Optic in Germany, which is just gonna be wild, so hopefully that goes well. Welcome, 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 welcome to one of the most exciting things that is happening in 2018. Right off the rip, right off the bat. Sound effects going off, I'm so psyched because it has been a while since I've wanted a, a, a space, a creative congregation type of space that will bring the brains and operational manpower to create content that you guys will appreciate and enjoy. This is like the church of content. Copyright, don't steal that. I'm gonna give you a tour. I'm gonna give you a quick tour. This lobby area, and don't show the whole, don't try to, don't try to. There's nothing here yet, but we're not gonna have a receptionist either. But we are gonna have this another layer of maybe security here, some tasers and stuff. Uh, but we're in a super undisclosed location in Bumble F, Texas, not too far from where we're at. North, south, I don't know. But as soon as you walk in, this is the editing area slash bay. This is where all the editors, Roger, my man Joe, John's, 
Actually, no, there's only going to be Roger in here. Uh, he, this, this, this is going to be his editing stage. So he gets his own office, okay? First thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on this Echo. First thing, Roger, have you Amazoned all the sound panels yet? No, you have not, liar. Come on. All right, so this is the editing station. We might put like designs and stuff on the doors. Uh, main hallway, as you walk in, immediately to the left, you have the Turtle Beach something. What are we doing in here? Trivia. Huh? Trivia. Oh. The Turtle Beach trivia room. Not only trivia, but we're also going to be doing all the... Oh, all of the more commentator-like sort of, uh, you know, what do you call those? Contests or competitions? The, the sitting competitions, okay? Um, so we're going to shoot from here that way. This is going to be incredible. You guys saw this room in my vlog yesterday. I didn't give you guys a real tour. But if you continue to walk down this way, we have a kitchen area with no stove because they knew that I was going to try to throw El Chefe things all up in here. So... What we're missing, okay? We're missing snacks. So if you are a company that does snacks, Hot Pockets, where are you at? Uh, jerky companies, Harley, Mornstein from Epic Mealtime, we need you to pack this up with some beef jerky, we need candy, we need uh, Nutri-Grain bars for those who eat healthy, we need it all, okay? Bang the line downstairs if you're trying to pack this Beautiful stuff with stuff. Kitchen knives, we don't need them. Um, this area is going to be sort of like a confessional room. This is where you're gonna come. No, I'm kidding. I think what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna uh, put a desk right here and we're gonna make this a home away from home for any uh, content creators that wanna visit Optic. Uh, anybody that wants to come and hang out, somebody that creates a, a you know massive amount of videos on a daily basis and wants to come visit but at the same time doesn't wanna skip work, this is for you. Sound panels, everything will be done correctly. Now, here, whoa, Nick. We just walked in on Nick taking a, sorry, close the door. Uh, this is gonna be storage. Now, if you guys don't know, if you guys know anything about me, is that I am a huge, huge storage guy. Not that I'm a hoarder, I'm not. It's just that I do like to be organized with, and it gets annoying to some of the people that work with me. It gets annoying to some of the people that live with me. I just like to keep things where they belong. Every, every object has a home within a home. And if you follow that rule, if you follow that rule, your efficiency as a creator will always be top notch. You thought that was it? Uh-uh, we gotta go upstairs. Let's go upstairs, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Welcome to the Optic Place room. How nasty is this? This is what's gonna happen in here, okay? This is what's gonna happen in here. I am going to speak with my wife and then she's gonna help me decorate the whole thing because I don't know what, the, what I'm doing. But now we have everything set up. Everybody's going to be playing with the correct equipment, okay? Obviously, we have the Turtle Beach Elite Pros on deck. Scuff Gaming Controllers on deck. This room is actually the Scuff Gaming uh, Gameplay Room, Roger? Uh, I don't know the exact term. You're not supposed to talk, Roger. We talked about this. Okay, so we need two more DX Racers and then we're going to be done right here. This is called the Crow's Nest. I don't know, I'm kidding. Uh, more storage or opportunity. Do not look down. Do not look down. The, 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 more you guys see, the, last, the last thing that I'm saving for you guys is going to be the... The cool part. So a little bit more storage or maybe this is where we'll put the ping pong table. So when we have the Turtle Beach. Hey, so are we doing the Turtle Beach ping pong tournament again this year? Yeah. On your channel? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so this is where we're gonna have the, uh, the, the, all the ping pong stuff. I don't think that we brought it with, but I'm sure that we can get some, some new and improved stuff. Now, to the nitty gritty, my favorite part of the whole thing. The, I'll just go. Walking up those stairs kind of winded me. The area that I'm most excited about now, what you're going to see in here is not what's going to be happening. On, on, we're going to get a podcast room set up, right? Because it's not in there? Uh, it'll be in there, but it's walled off. There okay, we're, we're going to create something in here, but welcome to the factory. Whoa! Cool edit, cool edit here. Cool edit here. Uh, music video. That is exactly what we're talking about, Hitch. Thanks for the input and always the help. 
You know I'm going to spritz something here. I'm so excited about this space. Look how massive it is. We're talking about 35 foot ceilings, okay? Which means that if we wanted to, okay, if we wanted to do it super, super right, this is what I'm seeing. And then, Hitch, you tell me if you agree with this. Lounge area, okay? Bar back there. Coffee maker right there. We're going to put stairs and then shipping containers that are going to be turned into sets to do the podcast, sets to do workout sets. Should we have a gym in here? It is massive. We are talking, good question, Jack. We are talking close to 12,000 square feet of pure goddamn awesomeness. Is this a studio or a, a, a workout gym? A basketball court? Basketball court, tall enough. I can make it rain. But that's enough for that. We need to film the podcast. That's going to do it for this unveiling. Back to vision, back to drama, back to what we're good at stories super excited to finally have a creative space that we have needed for for as long as we did something that sort of resembles a home okay a scuff house a 6050 russell drive vibe uh so now we're gonna have a a uh, a permanent podcast room something that we haven't had up until this point we're gonna have a permanent let's play room that's sick as hell and all i see is walls all I see is opportunity for me to come in here and sprit, 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 sprit. Um, I might have to bring some of my, my friends to come help though, because I'm not going to do it all by myself. Because as fun as it is to spray paint, it's a lot of fumes. Luckily, we have big doors, but it's, it's Texas heat, so it's it, it'll be tough unless we only work at night, which is also super. We'll figure that out another time. I just, I just cannot tell you how excited I am that we're finally, we finally have we finally have some space to where we can literally yell as loud as we can and be fine with it. It's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. I probably haven't been on an episode of Vision in um, uh, over a year, maybe over a year. It hasn't been a year since everybody moved to Dallas, but it's been close to a year since I signed a lease on an apartment in Chicago and then you guys know shortly after I signed the lease here um, everybody packed up and moved they left me they left me in Chicago but it's finally time to head to Dallas I'm actually just today trying to close on an apartment down there I'm not gonna tell anybody where it's at cuz look I didn't even tell anybody where I was right now but people figured it out I was talking to the, the doorman the other day he was like you the, you the gamer right the gamer, I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess that's my most defining quality as a person. I'm the gamer. I'll take that. And um, he said, hey, people came in. They, they were looking for you. They were trying to get up to your apartment. I said, what the fuck? Can I say that on the new vision? I'm saying it. <clears throat> people out there trying to come up. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Roger, Roger, Roger wants to know what I've been doing. Okay, Roger. You want to know what I've been doing? I've been, you know. Oh my grind, you know what I'm saying? I've been streaming daily uploads three months straight. Some travel here and there. I had two weddings the last couple weeks. Uh, it was fantastic. Spending time with family and friends uh, in two different states. Had a blast with that. Uh, it took as few days off as possible from streaming. I think even with traveling for two weddings, I think I only missed two days or three days in total. Um, but things have been great. I knew this was gonna be a crazy, crazy month from the first wedding to probably when I get home from my sister's graduation at the end of June. It's nonstop. We've got Optic Arena now. We've got E3. I'm going to MLG Anaheim for kind of a couple days break just to enjoy the event and see everyone obviously from the COD scene that I miss. Um, but man, it, it has been nonstop since I announced the Optic kind of move uh, back at the beginning of March and I couldn't be happier with things. Uh, ever since uh, the last episode that, uh, that I worked on on Vision, uh, everybody was really supportive. A lot of people, um, you know, uh, a, a lot of close friends and, uh, and people in the community that were uh, really supportive just hit me up, you know, and, uh, and, and said a lot of nice things and, and gave me a lot of compliments and it was just, it was just awesome. Uh, it's uh, overwhelming support basically um, for the past two years of, of Vision and um, you know, we had we had four really, really awesome seasons, um, and uh, I'll never, obviously, I'll never forget that. Um, but ever since then, I kind of took a little bit of a of a break, a little vacation, um, went over to Disney, and then came back and immediately started um, started working. So 
Uh, I figured the first thing that I was gonna do uh, as soon as I got back was just to hit uh, content pretty hard. So that's what I did. I streamed every day, uploaded every day, and uh, you know it went pretty well. Uh, I tried to balance between like doing gameplay videos and like viral style videos, and like really trying to. I've never like dedicated a lot of time to personal content before, so um, so I kind of just grinded out to see what worked uh, best, and. Um, it went pretty well. Uh, lately, I've been kind of, uh, I kind of found a new passion in, in running these uh, these tournaments. Um, it's always fun, like uh, running tournaments that are a little that are a little bit weirder than than a standard tournament. So I thought I'd bring that over to Fortnite. I did a one v one v one tournament. It was like three people facing each other at once. It was kind of strange. Um, and then I ran a tournament where. A, PC player has to play with the PS4 player, uh, cross-platform tournament. Um, that one did really well as well. And now um, I did a co I'm doing a co-ed tournament, which will actually be today. Um, and that one kind of just exploded. You know, I, I knew there was going to be a lot of people involved. There's a lot of females that play um, that play Fortnite, which is awesome. So I tried to find a way to get them involved. Um, and it kind of just took off. Like we have, you know, big pro players playing in the tournaments. And I think like almost every girl streamer that streams Fortnite is playing in the tournament as well. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, it really has taken off and, and Turtle Beach came through and, and put up a, a big time prize pool for it. So I'm super excited. That's basically what's been taking up all my time. So kind of been slacking on my personal uploading, but this is literally, has, this has been taking all my time. So. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. You guys are going to catch me, you know, in vision episodes like this probably pretty regularly as long as there's, you know, content um, sections in that particular episode. You guys are going to see me on the Optic Gaming channel, you know, Optic Plays. I'll be doing the trivia. I'll probably hop on the podcast from time to time. It's going to be like the good old days, man. I'll be honest. I really miss it. Other than that, you know, content wise, you guys have been showing tons and tons of love on the H1Z1 videos. That was probably the biggest theme for me and my channel over the last month or last six months, year maybe. Some of those H1Z1 videos are like the best videos I've ever uploaded. So I'm super happy that you guys are uh, enjoying the game. I am as well. Definitely going to get back to doing um, some other things as well. I think Hitch is, is putting on some pretty serious tournaments for like Fortnite now. So definitely want to get that going um, and get back to you know doing enough content. Just for the month of June though, I've been stuck on like one or two videos a day. I know that's still like a decent amount, but um, you know definitely want to get back to like doing three or four videos. And once I get down to Dallas, it's going to be easy, man. It's going to be easy once again, and we'll have the content flowing. But once again, thank you guys so much, seriously, for, for showing love on the, on the YouTube channel. And I probably should have put this at the start of the video, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that watch Vision that probably don't even know who the hell I am. <laughs> right? Like, new fans of Optic? Like, we have so many different teams now. My goodness, the last Vision I was in, Optic was a completely different organization. Does the lighting for this video suck? Oh no. Streaming is kind of natural. It's hop on Fortnite, play, play really whatever I'm, I, I, I want to play. Right now, all I do really want to play is Fortnite. I've been thinking about potentially getting in some single player games like um, Planet Coaster. I think it's called Planet Coaster, the, the roller coaster game. I've been watching some, stream, some streamers play that. And it's been awesome. Uh, but from the YouTube side, you know, Swappa, who I work with is uh, my editor, you know, we've really figured out a good process of how we like to kind of schedule our videos. Um, as well as, you know, what works. I think I'm realizing, you know, not only do people do like to see my skill side, which is absolutely there because I, I am, whether you want to admit it or not, I'm an above average Fortnite player, <laughs> but I also like to entertain. And a lot of the entertaining stuff comes through those random duos, comes through the awesome gameplay we have, you know, uh, with Connor uh, and, and the 10 year old army that I've now formed on Fortnite. We are quite the savage squad. Uh, and I think I'm finding a good balance of super try hard videos slash days and random duos and the 10 year old army and it's it's all been it's all been a blast. The channel in the last three days has gained about 15,000 subscribers, which has been awesome. So can't stop. You know, right now just keeping the streams going, keeping the YouTube channel going. Uh, stuff coming up for me. Still playing in all the Fortnite Friday tournaments. I'm playing in Hitch's uh, co-ed tournament, uh, which is today if you're watching this as Vision airs leave a like on the video the second it drops but uh i'll be playing that with kitty plays we had a great practice day today dominating some duos versus squads 
Uh, and then I believe Ninja and I will be playing the Fortnite Friday this week. Optic Arena this weekend, E3 for the Party Royale Fortnite event, going out there to meet people. We'll be playing it or casting in it, but uh, definitely excited to be more involved with Fortnite in the future. MLG Anaheim, and then uh, home to New Jersey for my sister's high school graduation, and uh, probably through the 4th of July just to hang out and, and really enjoy my time there. I'm gonna be down there in Dallas very soon. Uh, next month, I think I'm gonna move in middle of July, mid-July, so get moved down there, be ready. We're gonna kill it, end of 2018, 2019, Optic Gaming strong. Let's do this thing, baby. I'll see you guys then.